called the Active Shooter Alert Act. It includes a communications network for active shooters to warn people if there's an active shooter in their community. The alerts will be similar to an Amber Alert. Local media in Texas published and also aired surveillance video that shows law enforcement in Uvalde waiting more than an hour to take action after a gunman entered an elementary school. 19 children and two teachers were killed at Robb Elementary in May. And we do want to warn you, the video does not show violence or include the screams of the children, but the footage is still very disturbing and difficult to watch. CBS News correspondent Bradley Blackburn reports. Leaked surveillance video of the Robb Elementary mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas is bringing more anguish and renewed questions about the police response. Whoever leaked that video, I pray that you never, never have to deal with what all the parents, the grandparents, the siblings, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins are dealing with. They were going to see the video, but they didn't need to see the gunman coming in and hear the gunshots. They don't need to relive that. The video obtained by the Austin American statesman shows the gunman armed with an AR-15 style weapon entering the school, walks down a hallway. As a young boy appears around the corner, the gunman opens fire into a classroom for some two and a half minutes. Police officers enter the building moments later and approach the classroom, but they don't enter. And was heard. More than an hour after the gunman entered the school, officers finally break into the classroom and kill the 18-year-old gunman. You can't dispute what's on video. And at that point, then you can go after the people that, that dropped the ball. Investigators are preparing a report detailing the police response with preliminary findings expected Sunday. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. And a teacher who survived that mass shooting is talking about that terrifying day. He described what happened when he fell to the ground after being a shot. And again, we do want to warn you, his words are disturbing. He tried to make me flinch, spilled water on my back, cold water, and but I had a cup on the table and, and spilled it on me. And I didn't move. He did the cell phone thing also where he dropped it on my back because it was I was getting calls and texts. The last thing he did to me was he uh, splashed blood on my face, um, my blood that was coming out of my arm. I lost track of time in what seemed like an eternity. So difficult to hear those details there. As Reyes continues to recover, he says he thinks about his 11 students who he calls his children who did not survive.